I'm getting kicked out of my sewing room and I still need to finish a dress. This one, as a matter of fact, that view. And I know that I said that I'm getting kicked out of my sewing room, but really it's for a good cause. I have a friend who's coming to stay a couple of nights here with us. And well, my sewing room also doubles as my office and my guest room. And so <laughs> I'm going to have to convert it and bring down the wall bed and move all of my sewing stuff downstairs. So that way I can finish this dress up. And with that being said, I actually have a couple of sewing kits that I think is going to make this entire move downstairs a little easier for me. So let's take a quick look at the sewing kits. These are all by Velostar, which is today's sponsor. And then we're going to finish packing up the rest of the stuff, my project, my machines, and head on downstairs. So let's do that right now. Here are the three different kits in small, medium, and large, and this is what they all look like when you compare them. Now here's the smallest kit, and it has lots of safety pins right here, which I'm really excited about. Pins, a seam ripper, scissors, and, and these are buttons. Let me pull it out. See a bunch of different types of buttons, that's handy needle threader and hand sewing needles and lots of thread I like that they give you a lot of options tape measure and a thimble I actually think this would be good for work so I'm gonna throw this into my work bag now let's take a look at the medium one now this one has a lot of the same things that the other kit had which is <laughs> nice because it also has more this also has wonder clips I really like using these these are really handy and so they've given you two of them. There's those safety pins again, um, thimbles, tweezers in this one. And look, this one has a pencil. This pencil is actually pretty nice. It's a little marking pencil. It's really handy to have for darts and pleats and things like that. Um, and then we have this little case. Let's check this out. Okay, it has large eye needles, um, which are really handy for um, threading your serger tails back into your seams. I'm definitely gonna use those. And then over here on this side, you can see all of the different thread options that they give you with a couple black and white ones. You see that? It's really handy, I really like this. Let's compare this to the large. <laughs> this was just so impressive, you all. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm not even sure where to start. There's so much in here. Um, okay, so there are bobbins up over here. And then there are scissors, which is nice because the other ones didn't include um, scissors like this. So I'll definitely check those out on my lining. Tape measure, wonder clips, and thimbles. And then they have over here some larger eyed plastic needles. And these are also good for your serger tails. So I'll give one of these a go on my project. Um, and there's also a little magnifying glass for those of you who need a little bit of help seeing those um, eyes of the needle. <laughs> I really like this tomato that they included with all of these different pins. Now that's really handy because I won't need to bring down my pins and get them all over the place that's handy yeah I'll definitely use that um, variegated thread and more thread options here yeah this one's definitely going to come downstairs with me I really like this but it is missing a couple items I need to put in my seam gauge and then also I need some machine sewing needles toss those in and yeah, this is good to go. So I'll take this, my sewing machine, and my project, and we're gonna go downstairs. Okay, so I'm in the new location, and I know where I wanna begin. So let me show you. So this is the dress that I'm making. And one of the things that I've decided to do is actually line this lower bodice part along with the skirt. 
Now they have this weird kind of funky, it's a funky facing right up here to cover the seam across this place, which is probably a nice finish. However, since I'm using a lining, I'm going to show you all how to easily line this bodice part um, and just avoid that facing piece altogether. But first I actually need to cut the lining pieces. So let me test out some of the good stuff that's in my sewing kit on these lining pieces. Well, here's a lining fabric. Let's, I need the scissors. I need the tomato and I need some pins. Oh. This is going to be a magic trick to get out. Hang on a second. All right, here we go. Okay, now I need to pick some matching thread. There are several spools of white in here, which I appreciate. Um, but I think I'm gonna start with, yeah, I'm gonna start with this color right here. Editing Mari here. Don't put this in your machine. They even tell you not to, so don't do like I did. And because my threader on my machine is busted, I'm gonna take this and my needles. So now I'm going to use this green large eyed needle, this one right here. So here's my shoulder seam with the serger thread that I want to tuck right back under those threads. So I'm going to grab my little needle here and I'm just going to put it right through these threads here at the end. Just like that. Thread the needle with the serger tail. And this is why you want a really big eye. <laughs> and then go ahead and pull that through. So I'll pull through, snip off the ends, and that is secure. Do that with all the ends. Now that I have all of my bodice pieces sewn up, and by that I mean the upper bodice piece that I want to be sure is sewn together, as well as the bottom pieces in both my main fabric and my lining fabric. Let me show you how I put it all together with my little fabric sandwich method, and you'll end up with a beautifully lined garment. Let me just show you how to do this right now. This is my main fabric on the bottom part of the bodice. And there are a couple of notches here. So there's one, and over here is the other one. Now I'm going to line that up with the upper part of the bodice, that sheer part that I wanted to have. So we're going to put those right sides facing each other, and then I'm going to pin them in place. Okay, and so now that it's all pinned together, I'm just going to adjust my gathers make sure that they look okay now grab that lining piece and you're going to want to put it right side down on top of this entire sandwich situation <laughs> and then match up those notches so that way everything is perfectly lined and we're going to just pin in place as we go along here so I'm just removing each of these pins and I'm replacing them so that way they go through all three layers of the fabric. Now that it's all pinned together, 
I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew right along this top edge and then I'll come back and do the sleeve pieces that are right here on the side. So let's first sew across this top right here. Okay, and so now you can see that that is all sewn together. And when I pull it by the top, this is what it looks like. So that bottom part is lined. Let me <laughs> show you the other side. This is the lining part. And then you can see the top with all of those really beautiful gathers. Now we need to do the sides and that front bodice piece. But we need to make sure that we're actually making our arm side correctly here. So I am going to just simply grab the upper bodice piece, the part that's ruffled, and I'm going to match the notches up just like this. Being careful not to twist the bodice because you really don't want a twisted shoulder, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to pin this in place making sure that my notches match and then we're going to move right on over to that lining piece. Now this is the easy part. You're just going to match up those notches and replace those pins like we did before and you're just going to pin it all the way across on both sides. Now so all the way across starting at the stitch line where you stopped before and coming all the way to the end. And by the way, if you enjoy sewing tips like this, definitely subscribe and click on that notification bell so that way you know the next time that there's a video. Whenever I do my makes videos, I definitely try to share a new tip or trick with you. So you're not gonna wanna miss out on those. Subscribe. So after you're done making all of your fabric sandwiches, just go ahead and flip your garment to the right side out and you'll see that you actually have a sleeve now. Easy peasy. That's how you line the bodice of this dress. Now I'm going to throw on the skirt and finish this up and pop a few pics in here for you. Overall, I really do like this sewing pattern a lot. This is Simplicity 9742. But next time I'll shorten this bodice about an inch. I feel like I really could have used that little bit less length there. Even though I was kicked out of my sewing room here, I have to admit that I think the transition going downstairs was really easy with the sewing kit. So yeah, I would highly recommend this kit. And at about $17, $18, it's a really great find. I will next time bring my own thread. <laughs> But I think it was good. The scissors were sharper than I had expected for an inexpensive kit. Having the pins and the tomato were really helpful, as well as that seam ripper. I didn't show you all when I used it, but <laughs> I did have to bust it out while I was downstairs. So you can find the link to this kit down in the description box below. And if you enjoy picking up new tips and tricks on sewing, definitely check out my last video here where I teach you how to match up plaids perfectly. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.